Hey guys, Tayo are here and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you already been here, thanks for coming back. So as you can already tell by the title of the video, today I'm going to be showing you guys like my favorite lip glosses for dark skin, light skin, just everybody. I think that you need these glosses in your collection. So if you want to see my favorite lip glosses both from the drugstore and high end then keep on watching before we start please make sure you are subscribed to the channel please turn your post notifications on so you get notified every time i upload a video and follow me on instagram and with that being said let's jump right into the video all right you guys so if i'm going to wear any nude lip at all or a nude gloss on its own i always always go in with a brown lip pencil and my two favorite currently is the Colourpop BFF4 and my NYX lip liner in the shade Espresso. I used to use the MAC Chestnut but I find that the Colourpop BFF4 is like way creamier than that one so I kind of and it's cheaper so I kind of stopped using that but if you have that one then it works then use it. <laughs> um, but yeah I'm going to start off with the glosses that I do not need to line my lips for because that is just easier so i'm going to start off with those so let's let's go all right let's just start with my fenty beauty gloss balm in the shade glass slipper this is supposed to be a clear gloss i spoke about this in another video already i explained myself already this is not clear anymore and it's because i kind of accidentally applied it on a lipstick and you know mistakes happen but i'm going to get my money's worth but it still does the same thing that it would do if it was clear and this is just the wet look the The thing that I love with this gloss in comparison to the other Fenty Beauty glosses is that it gives you the high shine, the amazing Fenty Beauty formula minus the shimmer because not every time I want my lips to look glittery but I want it to look shiny and it doesn't change the shade of whatever lipstick that you are wearing underneath it. Some of the Fenty Beauty glosses do that so that is why I really really like this one. This one is a must have and surprisingly the Fenty Beauty glosses aren't expensive. But yeah this is what this one looks like it's just high shine wet you know so if you like the wet look the shiny lips and this is it all right y'all so i'm going in with another clear gloss and this is the essence shine 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 wet look clear gloss it's the same thing as the fenty beauty one but i just like this one as a lip moisturizer because to get it to the high shine that the fenty beauty gloss gives me i have to do like multiple coats i'm going to show you like what i mean yeah but this one is like super super comfortable it's not sticky it smells good it's cheap yeah so it's the same thing i just have to apply multiple coats but either whatever gloss i'm wearing i always go in with more than one coat so this is what this one looks like. I do have another Fenty Beauty gloss. I have one more after this, so bear with me. Um, this is the OG Fenty Beauty gloss in the shade Fenty Glow. This is the first, first gloss that they came out with. I think I went through probably like three of these. That's how much I love the Fenty Beauty gloss. The formula is just amazing. And this one, you don't necessarily need to wear a lip liner with it. It just the only thing that is different with this and the clear gloss is that this one has the shimmers in it you don't feel like the glitter chunks but I just don't want to like every time I you, you know be shimmery yeah. and it smells amazing with just a hint of pink the thing with this one when you use like use it over a nude lip it does change like the tone of that lipstick that you are wearing so you gotta be careful but yeah this one looks like, it just looks like your lips are more luscious you know all right so one more and i'm done with fenty and this is the fenty beauty gloss balm in the shade um hot chocolate this one came out in the holiday set that they have it did so well over the holidays that they decided to come up with it in a full size well this is still the mini one um i 
I haven't finished this one as yet but this one is like just well chocolate as the name says and you don't need anything with this on same amazing formula but with a hint of brown instead of a hint of pink so this is what this one looks like all right so i'm going to line with my nyx espresso lip pencil but just lightly line the lips Alright, so the gloss that I'm going in with is another OG. It's the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline. This is like the formula of these glosses is so amazing. This one smells so good. This is what this one looks like. Most times when I'm wearing lip glosses, I always, like probably nine out of 10 times, I have a lipstick underneath, but these glosses, you can just literally just line your lips, apply them and go because they are so pigmented. So yeah, this is this one. I am going to list all these down below in the description so if you like miss the names here and there you know just check the description box once again this is the shade madeline so i'm still wearing the nyx lip liner in the shade espresso you can use this or the color pop one but being that i already have the espresso on my lips i'm just going to keep that on and i'm going to go in with this artist couture gloss and this is in the shade on center 2.0 like this is next level nude this is super super nude this is like my current favorite gloss this is the one i have been using a lot lately and this one does plump the lips so when you apply it, it does feel kind of minty but it does go away after a while mm -hmm. see what i'm talking about And this gloss literally works well with all skin tones, like no joke. This is what this one looks like. Most of the times when I'm wearing this gloss, as I said before, I do have a lipstick underneath because it's just personal preference. But if you're in a rush, you, you just apply because it's pigmented and you get, you know, so this is what this one looks like. Super creamy once again pigmented this one does not have a smell unfortunately but it, it does feel minty all right guys so i do have another nyx butter gloss this one is in the shade tiramisu this one is more pinky in comparison to the first nyx gloss that i used that one was more pinky nude but more nude this one is pinky 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 <laughs> if that makes any sense i'm going to line with my bff4 lippy pencil I mean this one is like super super pink so this is one of those glosses that I would layer it and then I go in with like a little bit of the clear gloss just to make it super super shiny so if you want to wear it on its own this is what it looks like super pinky if i went in with some clear gloss like this would take the shine to like the next level but and these nyx glosses they're so cheap they're like six dollars or seven dollars the most and the store that i buy them in most of the time they have buy one get one 50 percent off so yeah but the first shade that i use that is madeline that one is like super hard to find so whenever you find it hold on to it so I did line my lips with my BFF 4 lip pencil. The next gloss that I have is this NYX Butter Gloss. But this one is like super, 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 super nude. If you are looking for like a dupe for the Artist Couture Gloss in the drugstore, this is probably the closest thing you are going to find that I know of. This one is not as nude nude as that one. But this is probably the closest thing that I own from the drugstore that 
is close to the artist couture one and this is in the shade fortune cookie and this is what this one looks like so this one does have like a hint of pink in it but it's super 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 light but it does give me the same finish that I get from the artist couture gloss When I'm wearing this one, I tend to focus it on the center of the lips and not like out here, if that makes sense. And it just looks, make my lips look full and plumped. This is what this one looks like. Hey guys, so I did line my lips again with the BFF 4 lip pencil. The final gloss that I have is probably the most expensive gloss. And this is the Pat McGrath um, gloss in the shade Flesh Fantasy. I did get this in the holiday time as well. I got it in a set of three and of the three, I really, really, really love this one. Um, this one, most of the times I wear this one on its own. It's super, super creamy. It's thick, but it's not uncomfortable. And it's high shine, yeah. And it's once again pinky. Well, it looks super super natural so this is what this one looks like and you can see for yourself you honestly don't need like none of these glosses once you line your lips you don't necessarily need anything but you know this one is like super super comfortable and it lasts really really long Alright you guys, so I'm done. That's all the glosses that I have to share with you guys today. I think everybody needs these glosses in their collection. I think the most expensive one that I showed you guys today is the Pat McGrath one. And this is just if you want to treat yourself. But it's not a must. Um, these ones, I don't think any of the other ones that I mentioned was more than $20. Correct me if I'm wrong. I am going to list all everything down below so you can see the prices for yourself. But it is worth it. If you are going to get any of these, I would suggest getting like the next bottle glass because these ones are like super super cheap and the formula is amazing. But yeah, if you guys want me to do like a video showing you guys my nude lip combos, like probably like my top five nude lip combos, let me know because y'all know I live for a nude lip. So I would show you guys how I pair some of these glosses with like a lipstick. So yeah, let me know if you guys want that. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.